Hello everyone! Today I am bringing you a Vinyl Finds video. This will be my 19th, honestly. I don't even want to know how much money I've spent whilst doing these videos. Sick. I haven't shown you any of the records that I've gotten since March. So if you don't follow me on any of my Instagram accounts, I sometimes post new records I get on my personal one which is Cardo Color and then obviously I do post new records I get as I get them on my Michael Jackson collection account which is MJJ Collector and my Queen collection account which is Queen Collector so if you don't follow me on these you won't know what I've gotten since March why does everybody want to make a noise as soon as I press record I am going to start off with the 7 inch record that I have um, acquired since my last Final Finds video. Now I have a lot to show you. This is going to probably be a pretty long video as usual. These videos are always pretty long videos. Yes, I've been a bit trashy and I actually have quite a lot of variety in this big stack here. Um, I'm also in my 12 inch, what I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, but as always, I do have the standard Michael Jackson and Queen records to show you. And I also do have quite a lot of other artists, so we'll get onto them as I show you them. But like I said, I am going to start off with the 7 inch record that I have gotten since my last um, Vinyl Finds video. So I'm just going to go through. These, uh, I'm not going to spend too long on each record just because, like I said, I have a lot. And we don't want to be sat here for 78 years, do we? So, um, the 7 inch records I have here, um, I most of them I found in a record shop about two weeks ago, actually, in Leeds. And uh, I was very happy. I picked up like six or seven something like that and I didn't have any of them and a lot of them were Jackson 5 stuff and I've been on a bit of a Jackson 5 spree lately as you'll see when I get on to the rest of the stuff that I have to show you but um, these are the ones that I found in the record shop so this is Jackson 5, um, Mama's Pearl and Darling Dear um, it's just on Motown this is from 1971 and this one's actually an American pressing and then I also have the Jackson 5 going back to Indiana and the b-side to this is Can I See You in the Morning and this is a Netherlands press and this is also from 1971 but I really like these sleeves and there's quite a lot of different um, Jackson 5 singles in these different coloured sleeves so yeah uh, this is what the label looks like the Jackson 5 little bitty pretty one and the b-side to this is if I have to move a mountain. This is a Canadian pressing uh, from 1972. The label is just on Camel Motor and it looks like that. Another Netherlands Jackson 5 single I have is Doctor My Eyes. If I can get it out of the sleeve. Oh my god. What's going on? Ooh. Okay. This is Doctor My Eyes and My Little Baby. Another Netherlands press here which it's really nice. The sleeve isn't in the best condition, but it was like two pounds, so what do you expect? And the label is on the orange Tamala Motown. Moving on to a Michael Jackson single. This is um, Got To Be There with Rockin' Robin on the B side. Uh, this is actually a reissue, um, an American reissue from 1973, but it's on the Motown Yesteryear series label, which I thought was kind of interesting, so I picked it up anyway because I didn't have it. Um, another Jackson 5 one. Uh, this is Hallelujah Day, and the B side is To Know. And this is a UK press from 1973, just in a Motown sleeve run on a Motown label. I do like finding Jackson 5 stuff so much. It's just so hard to come by, I find, anyway. Um, this is a cool one that I found. This is um, actually Jermaine Jackson, but this is the Jermaine and Michael Jackson 
Uh, tell me I'm not dreaming, too good to be true. The promotional copy, uh, this one wasn't for sale. Um, so yeah, this is the promo of the duet from Jermaine and Michael and the B-side is just a Jermaine song. Oh, two Jermaine songs. Um, Come to me and a mother. And this one is another UK press from 1985. That was the last of the Michael Jackson, Jackson 5 haul that I found, my back, that I found um, in that shop. But I do have three more records that I found in that shop but they are not Michael related so I first of all found this little beauty this is Prince and um, Diamonds and Pearls one of my favourite Prince songs I'm not even gonna lie and the B side to this is Q in Doubt um, sleeve to this is really uh, nice actually um, obviously it's on the Paisley Park Label, oh god, I love Prince. I've been on a bit of a Prince uh, binge lately. And speaking of Prince, I also found this one. This is a 7 inch single of um, The Most Beautiful Girl in the World. I do have the 12 inch single to this, so I always like to have the 12 inch and the 7 inch. It's just, I feel like it just completes a lot of family, you know? And uh, the B side is just beautiful on this. Uh, but yeah, really nice. This is what the label looks like. And the last one I actually found in that record shop is a little Queen number and it is uh, The Miracle. Here it is. This is the one that I found in that shop from Queen. Didn't have it so I picked it up again. It was like £3 I think. Uh, of course this is The Miracle and the side 2 to this one is Stone Cold Crazy. This is like the standard sleeve. You can get like the um, hologram. Holog hologram? 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 Yeah, that one. <laughs> you can get the one with the holo, holo, that holographic thing on the front. I don't know why I struggled so much with that. Anyway, the last 7 inch I have to show you is another little queen um, item. And during the moment where I haven't shown you any records I've gotten, Record Store Day happened in April and I did take part and I didn't really manage to get anything. <laughs> I do have a vlog of, of my um, day during Record Store Day, I went with Becky, it wasn't that enjoyable, I didn't really get much. I did get like four records, only one of which were like, oh no two were Record Store Day releases which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but unfortunately I didn't manage to get any of the um, Bohemian Rhapsody um, record star day releases so I did have to go and battle the eBay sellers and prices after record star day but I wanted the Bohemian Rhapsody releases so bad that um, nothing was going to stop me so I did manage to get the Queen Bohemian Rhapsody and I'm in love with my car 7 inch um, little record here and uh, this is a record store day release and um, this is actually um, a split record so one half is purple and one half is yellow I have kept mine sealed um, just because I do like to keep uh, record store day releases sealed every record store day release um, or like exclusive release to do with like Queen I always keep sealed so I wanted to carry that tradition on. So this is sealed, so unfortunately I cannot show you the record, but there are plenty of uh, photos on the interweb that you can look at if you want to see what the record looks like. But I did overpay for this. I know I did. But was it worth it? Yes, because I do have it in my hands now. So this is the 7-inch single of Bohemian Rhapsody for the film Bohemian Rhapsody. That was released for Record Star Day, and I'm very, very happy that I do have my hands on it. Now we're moving on to 12 inch, and I'm not even kidding, I have a massive pile to show you. Like, let me see if I can pick this up. Bear with me. Okay, are you ready? This is how much we have to show. Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's no order to these whatsoever. Um, I think some of them are like in the order I actually got them. Uh, since I've done my last Final Finds video, but no order whatsoever, we're just gonna go straight in. So, the first one on the top of the pile that I have is this beautiful little Michael Jackson 12 inch single of 
Bella. Now I love these. This is a Holland press and honestly Holland presses of Michael Jackson singles often do have these beautiful beautiful sleeves that no other country has and look at that how stunning is that honestly i love it it has through the long version the special edit and the live version of things i do for you on here um let me show you the record but i love the sleeve and this label is on the dark blue epic label and it's actually in really nice condition too. I did go to a record shop with my dad a while ago now and he found this one and he was like do you have this and I'm like no but it's coming home with me so this is Jackson 5 and um, the third album. I tell you I, this this year has been pretty good for Jackson 5 for me um, I still don't have the best Jackson 5 collection just because I don't have much looking fine and stuff but this uh, I didn't have and I found it I think it was like £8 or something like that I could have probably found it cheaper on eBay but it's actually in really nice condition too and um, this is a German pressing of this album um, but like I said Jackson 5 the third album I still am missing quite a lot of Jackson 5 albums on vinyl so it's on the black Tamil Mercer label this honestly this single has caused me so much trouble i almost had my hands on it um like december last year but unfortunately got lost in the post but i did get a refund for it um so i thought finally i'm gonna add this one into my collection no <laughs> i didn't um but and then uh, a couple of months ago I stumbled across it again on eBay and I finally, finally, finally have Michael Jackson They Don't Care About Us on 12 inch single. This, honestly, whenever I listen to the song, it's so powerful. <laughs> I just love it. It's such a good song and I always, like, it's not always the first one that I want to listen to, you know? So I love this and, um, I do finally have this to add into my history um, vinyl collection and uh, yeah I don't know what it is about the history album but I always struggle on finding the 12 inch singles from the album so I'm very very happy to have this. I do hope one day I'll be able to get the double um, pack of this single because you can get a version where it has two records in it. This is the one where it only has one record in it but I'm still very very happy to finally put this one into my collection. It does have the lyrics on the back. This record actually has six remixes of They Don't Care About Us on here, so I love it. Really bloody love the label on this record. I think that's really nice. We're moving on to one that was actually on my um, 2019 collection wish list for Michael Jackson and my Michael Jackson collection this year. Um, I haven't completely ticked it off yet because there are two items that I put into one um, one of them I still don't have but one of them I finally have in my collection I'm not going to take it out of the plastic sleeve because it is still sealed and I am obviously going to keep it sealed but I finally found the Thriller 25 album on vinyl why is this taking me so long to find and earn and add into my collection I have no idea but I finally have it and I couldn't be happier. This was one of the like only albums um, of Michael that I didn't have on vinyl that I still needed. Um, so now I actually do have a full um, discography of Michael's solo albums from his adult years. I'm still, um, I still have like a few missing from when he was a child but from his adult years I, I do now have all of his solo albums on vinyl. This bugger, this this took me longer to find than the Blood and the Dance 4 album on vinyl and that's saying something. I don't understand how that happened. But finally do have Thriller 25 on vinyl. It does have two LPs in here. It does have some remixes of the Thriller songs. But it is sealed and I'm going to keep it sealed. Um, I did really, really want to find a sealed version of Thriller 25 because I do have Bad 25 on vinyl and that's sealed too and I I don't know, something inside of me wanted Thriller 25 and Bad 25 both on vinyl, both sealed. All of these have been Michael so far. 
Uh, we're gonna we're gonna swap it up soon. But this is a Jackson's album that I was missing. Um, I finally found Destiny on vinyl. These are pretty easy to find. I just forgot about it. <laughs> I do still need Jackson's um, self-titled album on vinyl. That's the only one I'm missing of the Jacksons on vinyl. Um, but I was also missing Destiny and honestly I think Destiny might be my favourite Jacksons album. I do love the Jacksons albums. I really love the Jacksons albums. <laughs> don't know why, I don't know what it is, but I really love the Jacksons albums. Um, this one has um, Blame It On The Boogie, Push Me Away, Things I Do For You, Shake Your Boy Down To The Ground, Destiny, Bless His Soul, On Like Dancing and that's what you get for being polite on this album. Honestly, just a great album. And you also have like the iconic peacock on there. Um, it is a gatefold and it's a really nice gatefold actually. There are the boys, there you go. And um, it does come with a little insert in here too. Let me pull that out. So you have like the lyrics on this side and then a picture of the Jacksons in the studio there. The orange epic label. Um, and this is a UK press by the way. Moving on to some Queen and this is another one I'm just going to keep in a plastic sleeve. I'm sorry if there's a glare from the ring light. We're used to it by now. But um, I did cave and this was kind of a bit of a, I don't know why I bought it but I bought it moment. Do you know what I mean? So I was in Asda. <laughs> My mum was trying to find a costume for World Book Day. This is how long ago. I bought these records. Well, book day was 12 years ago. I don't know. Um, but I was in Asda and I was looking in the music section of, and I don't know, I just came across the reissue of Queen Greatest Hits. Um, I didn't have like a, a reissue version of it. I've only got originals. Um, so I was like, eh, I kind of want it. It was actually pretty cheap and while I was in the shop, um, I did like price check on eBay and this was like £22 in Asda I think and on eBay they were all going for like £27, £30, something like that so I was like alright yeah I'll get it um, with intentions of keeping it sealed because obviously I do have quite a few other presents of the greatest hit album <laughs> um, but the um, hype sticker down here says Britain's biggest ever selling album which I liked um, but yeah, this particular version is uh, the reissue, so this is the gatefold version and it does have two records in here rather than just the one. And another one that I kept sealed was another Coda <laughs> release and this seems like ages ago because I haven't bought anything from Coda for a long time. So I must have bought this in like April. But this is another Coda release, um, a Coda publishing release for Queen. They've been going ham on all the same release but different names. So basically they've been releasing like tons and tons and tons of Queen records. Um, all with different like um, sleeves and names and different coloured vinyl inside. But they've all got the same music on them and because I'm trash I have been buying a lot of them and I do still miss a lot of them. I do still kind of want all of them just so I have a complete set but I kind of like stopped buying them because I got a little bored. So this is one of them. This is actually called Radio Gaga in Tokyo. This is from Japan 1985. I already have the music that's on this record on other records by Koda so I left this one sealed but this one does actually come on clear vinyl and there you have back. I do have another Koda publishing release here. Um, this one I did open and this one I was kind of excited about even though again this is the exact same audio on here than what's on here hence why I kept this one sealed. But I wanted to open this one. Oh, something nearly fell in. I wanted to open this one um, simply because it says it has a limited edition gold vinyl inside. Um, oh, an Inca gold swirl vinyl. That's all. Um, but this is exactly the same track list and audio as the one I've just shown you. Um, this one is actually called Happy and Glorious, <laughs> all the hits from Tokyo. 
Uh, but yeah, like I said, I wanted this one because I didn't want to open it and I was pleasantly surprised with the record in here. Like, it looks really nice. I don't know how that's picking up on camera. It's probably looking a little see-through. But to the naked eye, and it depends how you hold it, it kind of like changes hue. <laughs> so like, if I hold it like this, it's really, really sparkly gold, like really swirly. But if I hold it like this, it kind of looks like bath water, <laughs> but I, I like it, I really like it. Um, it's really nice because Coda got into a bit of a rut by just giving us like um, clear records, which I like a clear record, but not all the time, do you know what I mean? This one I was super hyped about because I found this one on eBay and I wasn't expecting to add it into my collection at all for a while anyway. And this is not going to seem very exciting, just because it is kind of common to some people. But this is the In The Closet 12 inch single, the mixes behind the door number one. Now, there is two versions of this. There's number one and then there's the mixes behind the non door number two. I already have the number two version, I've had it for years. But I never ever ever could find the mixes behind the door number one. And for some reason, this particular one is super common in like America, but it is nowhere to be found in the UK. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just type it in in eBay just to have a look because I'd not looked for it for it for a while, and it bloody well came up, didn't it? And I was like, oh, it's probably from someone in America. The post is going to be ridiculous, and I was like, oh, wait. So I clicked on it, it was from a UK seller, I was like, it's probably going to be really, really expensive. No, it was £10 on a buy it now with £2 delivery. I was on that straight away, buy it now, mine, yes please. So I managed to find this and I actually thought it was going to take me a hot while, well it did already take me a hot while to get, but I'm very, very happy and I managed to get Mixes behind the door, number one. And um, it's in super nice condition as well. Um, it does have um, four remixes of In The Closet on here. And the label is just on like the blue Epic label and this is an EU pressing. Now we're going on to something completely random. It's not Queen, it's not MJ, it's not Shawn Mendes, it's not Bowie or Prince. It's somebody I've never talked about on the channel before but somebody who I have literally fallen in love with. His music is insane, his voice is beautiful. Hello, this is an album by Hosea. It's his self-titled album. I bought this on a little bit of a spontaneous yeah, I want that moment in HMV because you've probably heard the song Take Me To Church. I love that song so much. And I've always loved Hosea's voice, but I've never listened to the rest of his stuff. So I was like, eh, you know what? I'm just gonna get his album. So I was in HMV, I found his first self titled album, um, I picked it up and I played it. And honest to God, this album is so good. I've listened to it over and over and over and over again. This album is amazing. Probably my favourite song is Someone New, which is pretty common and pretty well known. Um, I really, really, really like Jackie and Wilson, like the whole album. So there's two, there's two records in here. It's quite a long album actually, um, but the whole album is so good. Um, his voice is angelic, honestly. Um, I'm super glad that I picked it up actually. This is what the get pod looks like. Um, but yeah, Hosea. Wow, honestly one of my favourite artists of today and right now. These are honestly some lyrics there. Um, the labels also by Rory are really nice because one and that's it on the other side. Hosea, wow. If ever he comes near me to do a show, I am there, honestly. Next one, Queen, another Coda release. Another beautiful record, actually. Um, again, this one, we already have the audio. This is from the News of the World tour. Um, this is from the Summit Houston 1977. We already have a lot of Coda publishing records with this concert audio on there. But what sold me? Do I hear you ask? 
this here pan edition on red white and blue vinyl and i was like damn yes i need that i need to see what it looks like because Coda are very very cheeky and they don't give you like a preview of what the actual record inside looks like so even though I have a few records already by Coda with the exact same concept audio on I needed it because it sold me so this is what the record looks like and I'm not mad at it like mm -hmm. this is beautiful so we've got like a grey a uh, white, red and blue swirl vinyl like you can probably see it more like around this edge here um, but it's beautiful and I freaking love it I think it's stunning because Coda can be a little bit cheeky like I said they can like release some records where the actual vinyl inside is really freaking boring but the sleeve is really nice or they can do vice versa where the sleeve is really shite but the vinyl inside is really nice um, but this one sold me because I really love the sleeve um, and the record inside is really nice too but just a word of warning this one by the way is called Houston we have no problem could have actually released one that looks exactly the same as this so it has the exact same cover it has the exact same described um, record inside but it's actually called something like Our Gracious Queen or something like that where it actually has a different concert um, track list and different music on the record. Now we are going on to some cheeky Record Store Day releases and purchases that I got on Record Store Day. Um, yes, actually on Record Store Day. So I did, like I said, get um, three records whilst I was out shopping on Record Store Day, two of which were a... You're just gonna have to deal with that, okay. Two of which were actually um, Record Store Day releases, one of which wasn't, but it's still a record that I really wanted. So this one is actually a Record Store Day release. Um, this is His Majesty's Pop Life um, Prince the Purple Mix Club. So this one was actually a Japan promo only record back in 1985 and it was like really really limited so it's actually pretty rare so they decided to um, reissue it for Record Store Day this year. This one um, still is only limited to 14,000 I think. I could be wrong but that's what I found online. That's how many they released. So it does have two records inside but it is a pretty um short track list actually and um, it actually does have a really nice gatefold as well that's what it looks like um and then the records themselves are because it's like it was a japan um release back then they've kind of kept with the J japanese feel of stuff so japan releases often do come in these plastic record sleeves um, I did keep the record star day sticker there, but here's one of the records. This, the labels are actually really nice. Again, keeping with the Japanese feel, it does come with this insert, which I'm pretty sure I think is the discography of Prince, but in Japanese. So there we go, that's really nice. Record that I got on Record Store Day, which isn't actually a Record Store Day release, is this um, little number here. This is the Submarine soundtrack on vinyl. This is actually a 10 inch record. My first ever 10 inch record. This, I, what? I can't believe I never owned a 10 inch record before this one. So if you don't know, Submarine is a film, obviously, because this is a soundtrack. Um, Submarine is just, it's actually one of my favorite films. I haven't watched it in years though. But I love it. Um, it's just like a bit of a teenage dark rom-com kind of thing. If that's how I can describe it. It's actually directed by Richard Ayoade. Um, Richard Ayoade is one of my favourite people in the whole wide world. Uh, if you don't know who Richard Ayoade is, he plays Moss in the IT crowd. And he's a comedian. But he's actually a film director too. These songs are actually... Um, written and sung by Alex Turner from the Arctic Monkeys 
Um, I'm not really a fan of the Arctic Monkeys just because I'm from the same area as the Arctic Monkeys. My whole life I've just been fed the Arctic Monkeys and I got taught by Alex Turner's dad at school. It's just Arctic Monkeys overload for me <laughs> and it's not really my style of music to be fair but these songs are written by Alex Turner and sung by Alex Turner but I did an apprenticeship uh, like five years ago now and it was m the most depressing moment of my life. I hated every second of that year and one of the um, memories that stands out to me is I used to listen to the soundtrack on my phone every single day and that's like why actually why would I want this to remind myself of that anyway but the songs are actually really really good stuck on the puzzle is really nice it does actually come with a pretty nice uh, inner sleeve here too so this is what the record looks like sleeve no <laughs> the label is pretty simplistic but I really like how it looks and I've always wanted this record just because I love the film, I love the songs. One that I was fortunate enough to get on Record Store Day was the Brian May New Horizons 12 inch single. Look how cheap this was, seven pounds compared to a lot of the stuff, wow. Um, anyway, I was lucky enough to be able to grab this on the actual Record Store Day. Um, I did want this because I actually do really like this song from Brian. I think it's really nice actually. I can't show you inside because like I said I always keep record star day releases for Queen sealed so I've kept this one sealed. There were only 4,000 of these released. These are actually numbered. Mine's 2,252 right there. So yeah I'm very very happy to have managed to get this one on actual record star day. It kind of made things worth it you know standing in that queue for almost four hours. This kind of made it worth it. Staying with record store day for one last time i have made it clear how desperate i was to get both of the bohemian rhapsody releases for record store day the seven inch single and the double pack uh 12 inch picture discs i wasn't fortunate enough to get the seven inch single on actual record store day nor was i fortunate enough to get the picture disc pack on record store day either so off to eBay I went, <laughs> yes I overpaid for this one too, but do I regret it, do I heck? So I did manage to get the beautiful Bohemian Rhapsody original soundtrack on picked disc, the record store day release off eBay for a ton of money but I don't care because I have it in my hands and I love it to bits. Yes. Again, I've kept this one sealed, but this does have two picture discs inside. Um, again, it's just the same track list as the standard um, Bohemian Rhapsody record that we got a few months ago. But here is the back of another picture disc inside. It is a gatefold, can't show you because it's sealed, um, but look at that how beautiful is that? I just loved the way it looked. I know a lot of people wasn't keen on the fact that um, it was just another picture disc but I actually really really love it. Moving on and moving away from Record Store Day release I actually won this little beauty on eBay and it's one that I've been wanting to add into my Michael Jackson collection for a long ass time. Okay? Alright. So this is a bootleg. This is fake, but it's pretty rare for a bootleg. This is the a cappella album. Oh my god, I found out about this record before I even started collecting. But I knew I wanted it because a cappella, Michael Jackson, are what dreams are made of. Um, this is a full album of a cappella songs by Michael. Um, here we go, I'm just going to reel off the entire track list for you. We have I Want You Back, Ben, Rocky Robin, Blame It On The Boogie, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, Rock With You, Billie Jean, Wanna Be Starting Something, Thriller, Smooth Criminal, The Way You Make Me Feel, Black or White, They Don't Care About Us and Rock My World. All of those songs are a cappella. Wow. What the hell. I love. 
This is, by the way, as I said, a bootleg. It's fake. There are only 250 of these in the world. Um, this is, says at the bottom here, limited edition, one of only 250 copies for promotional use only to commemorate Michael Jackson's final tour by the fans for the fans. So this was kind of brought out uh, for This Is It by fans. Um, so this is from 2009. What I really love about this is that they forgot to move their mouse. So we have a little <laughs> computer mouse there whilst they were like screen grabbing the thing to make the sleeve. But um, yeah, this nothing really special about the record. It's just on white label. I have been neglecting actually like official Queen records for quite a long time. Simply because I've been focusing so much on collecting all of the new um, unofficial bootleg records that have been released by so many people uh, over like the last two years because Queen has like boomed. So I've kind of been neglecting like official Queen records like um, one of my 2019 goals for um, Queen and um, collecting Queen was to get more um, 12 inch singles because that's part of my Queen record collection that I don't really have much of and I still haven't because I've, like I said I've been neglecting it so I did find the 12 inch single of Friends Will Be Friends and it felt really good actually to actually um, get a official real Queen record to add into my collection after a while. Um, I'm going to get back onto official Queen records um, very, very soon. I've kind of slowed down on collecting uh, for a little bit just because I've been paying for holidays and I don't have that many funds. But uh, I got this quite a while ago now. But um, yeah, I found it on eBay, I think it was like three pounds. So I was like, you know what? I'll treat myself to some official queen. Here is the label. Somebody's gonna hate me for this because, oops. <laughs> yes, this may look like the exact same record. It kinda is. Uh, let me explain. So, I like Coda for Queen releases, but they're not my favourite. My favourite, possibly, for who releases uh, bootleg albums of Queen is probably Rockwell. I do like them a lot. They bring out some good quality Queen bootleg vinyls. So, they have been releasing quite a lot lately. I haven't gotten them all, but I do have a few. So these two, they look like the same album because they are. The only difference is here is that they are pressed on different coloured records. Um, so let me explain. These albums are bootlegs. This is by Rockwell Music on the Roxborough uh, label. This is called Another Party Is Over. And let me explain here. So let me get this one out. This one here is um, limited to 199. This one is the more rare version out of the two. So this one, there are more, um, there is a larger number of these than there are these. So let me explain. So this one is only 199 of these. Um, this is pressed on Midnight Blue vinyl and it's beautiful. So here it is. There we are. It's on heavyweight vinyl, by the way. Um, it isn't numbered, but it is out of 199. These, um, by the way, the music is from, surprise, the Summit Houston, 11th of December, 1977. So this is the same concert audio as some of the coda ones that I've just shown you. But I think the quality of these are just so much nicer than the coda ones. Um, so that one is the more rare version out of the two. Let me just show you what the more common one looks like. The sleeve is exactly the same. Um, let me just get it out. So this one is actually limited to a number of 230. So exactly the same. The same music, the same track list from the same concert, the same sleeve. The only difference is that this one, there are more copies of it, and this one is pressed 
on silver vinyl. There we go. It's really nice actually, there's some swirl in there and it is actually like sparkly as well, so that's really nice. I've had quite a um, large love affair with Shawn Mendes at the moment. Um, you know I've been wanting to complete his discography on vinyl. I have his most latest album, the Shawn Mendes uh, self-titled album. I have his MTV Unplugged. I have his first album which is handwritten and I was so so desperately looking for Illuminate's second album on vinyl but it was nowhere to be seen and to be fair I kind of was holding out for one of the coloured vinyl uh, versions that I know are out there but I was just too impatient and um, I did go on Amazon and I did look for Illuminate on vinyl and I did find it this is the black version, the black final version. I don't really care because all I really wanted was to earn this album on final. So here we go. I finally have Illuminate by Shawn Mendes on vinyl. I would still like to try and find a coloured version of this album simply because I'm trash and I'd like to. Um, but this one is definitely um, scratching that itch for now, you know? So this is Illuminate. I really love this album. It's super nice. It just comes with this um, insert with the lyrics. And like I said, this one just comes on black vinyl, but it is heavyweight. Um, and the label is still really pretty, actually. Um, I have this one, and I know there's another version of this with a different coloured record inside. I don't have that version yet. So this is Queen, um, this is from Buenos Aires, 28th of February 1981, again we already have quite a lot of bootleg vinyl from Queen with this audio on. This is actually by Supernaut Records, uh, so a, like a company that I don't previously have any records by. So this one um, is actually limited to only 500, the only reason I really did want it was because I loved the cover for a start and I wanted to look at the record inside and um, now I know there is a version of this where there is a red record inside like I said don't have that one yet I would actually like to have it um, but hello <laughs> get your sunglasses out this comes on like a highlighter yellow record this is super bright so bright what the hell it's probably not coming up as bright on camera as it actually should be. This is really luminous and I actually love it. I think it looks really nice actually with how it looks with the sleeve. I do have another record by Rockwell on the Roxborough label. Again, there are two versions to this. This is the only one I have for the moment um, because I needed to slow down and save some spend, you know? So there is another um, version of this, again, with a different coloured vinyl inside. This is the only one I have so far for this particular one. But I, again, freaking love it. This is beautiful. This is You Made Us Feel We Could Fly. So this is um, from Rio de Janeiro on the January 12th, 1985. I'll show you the record. This is limited, by the way, to 285 copies. And the record, again, holy crap. This is why I like Roxburgh records. But they treat as well. Look at that. And you hold that up to the light. There's so much swirl in that, you probably can't see it on camera. There's, it's very swirly and it's a really, really nice colour. I friggin' love it. I am now moving on to some Jackson's, Jackson 5 uh, reissues and unofficial records that are new releases. Now, because I have a collection count on Instagram, it means I also follow a lot of other Michael Jackson collectors. And honestly, everyone and their uncle were posting about this record. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my good God, I need that record. I didn't even know what it was. I just saw the cover and I fell in love. How stunning is this record sleeve? Holy crap. I love this. Anyways, this is an unofficial release. 
Um, this is from Parachute Records. Parachute um, actually released quite a lot of unofficial Michael Jackson, Jackson 5, the Jacksons um, records. Um, so this is the Jacksons, Mexico City, 1975, the classic broadcast. So of course, self-explanatory. It is a concert audio from Mexico City in 1975. And it is on two records, but I just loved it. Like, first of all, the cover I fell in love with. Second of all, I don't think there's been like any, or if there is any, I don't know about them. And there are very few. The Jacksons bootleg concert albums, what? I was like pleasantly surprised. I loved that fact. Hello, the gay fall is beautiful. We have some um, pictures and we also have some information there about the Jacksons and stuff like that. So it's beautiful. And not only is it on two records with the freaking beautiful sleeve and a beautiful gate fold. By the way, the labels are also freaking beautiful. How about that? Um, they also come on clear vinyl. There we go. I won't show you the other one because it's exactly the same. Um, but yeah. Clear vinyl. It's just a really, really nice record. Another Jackson 5 little goodie right here and um, this is also a new release this is a new reissue of dancing machine by jackson 5 so this actually um says a celebration of the life of michael jackson 2009 to 2019 the colored vinyl collection so this is um one out of five that they are releasing this is the first one now apparently here on the back they have been releasing or they are releasing Skywriter in June which I've still yet to see and um, get it together in September um, a live album in October and the Christmas album in November all on um, coloured vinyl which by the way I think is really good that they're releasing like a full series of Jackson 5 records reissued on coloured vinyl that's what my dreams are made of third edition opaque brown vinyl lp now admittedly when i read it was on brown vinyl i was like mm, really brown 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 <laughs> i wasn't that excited about it but actually i don't actually have dancing machine on uh, as an original pressing yet i've been trying to like find Jackson 5 albums as original pressings for quite a while and I still um, am missing quite a few but the fact that they are reissues they actually are really nice reissues like for example this is the um, inner sleeve and it is a obviously a replica of the original inner sleeve and it has like some uh, magazine stuff it has some like exclusive Jackson 5 autograph portraits um, where you could send off and get one um, it has like the fake coupon code at the bottom where you could cut it off and send it off for whatever you wanted. Um, it has some stuff on here too where you can like um, send off for Jackson 5 stickers and stuff. I just think this inner sleeve is really nice. Anyways, that's the inner sleeve. This is the record itself. It's on brown. <laughs> brown. Brown. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But it is still brown. Um, the label is uh, also a good replica of the original one. Um, but yeah, I actually really like it. I, I know it's on brown, but it does go well with the sleeve. We're staying with a release from the same people as this one. This I actually found before the one that I've shown you. Um, this one actually came out back in 2018, but I never got around to getting it. And then I thought I'd left it too late, and then I couldn't find it anywhere. And um, this again is a French um, release, just like the Dancing Machine one. Um, this is Moving Violation. Um, again, I still don't have the actual original um, release of this record. This is the only version of this record that I do have. Um, but again, I found this and managed to stumble across it for a pretty decent price. It was under £20, which I thought was insane. Um, but this one is limited edition to 2,000 copies pressed on yellow vinyl. So the inner sleeve, again, is actually really nice. Um, replica, you can get like the order form at the bottom. 
Um, it's just really nice. And then the record itself, it wasn't the shade of yellow that I was expecting. But here we go. Um, it is. It, it looks like custard to me. It looks like custard. But the magic is when you hold this record up, the amount of swirl and pattern there is in this record is absolutely insane. And I'm sad that you're probably not going to be able to see that, but I do have a picture up um, of this swirl on my collection account if you want to go and see that. Moving on to another person that I've never spoken about on my channel before and who I've actually begun to really really like. Now I actually got this record for my birthday, um, my birthday was back in June. Yes, my birthday happened while I was away. Yes, I turned 23. What disgusting thing is that? I don't want to be 23. It's gross. Um, but I actually got this record for my birthday from my mum and dad. And it is the new Billie Eilish album. This is called When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? And I've been listening to this album non-stop since I got it. I did ask for it for my birthday. I love her. She's so good. Um, really really good. Not the kind of music that I would usually go for actually, but it's still really really good. It is a get for, you get all the lyrics here. Um, it does come with an inner sleeve, but the inner sleeve is just plain um, black, so I won't show that. But it actually comes, and I wasn't expecting it to come on a coloured vinyl, but it actually comes on like a peach, peachy vinyl. I have been wanting this since it came out, but I kind of just kept putting it off for some reason and I finally ordered it off Amazon and I'm super super glad I did because not only is this such a really really nice piece of music um the actual physical like package of this is genius and many other people should take note so this is Prince um piano and a microphone 1983 this is the deluxe vinyl version you can get this as a standard vinyl uh, where it's just in a cardboard sleeve. You can get this um, on CD as well, but this is the deluxe version. And as you can see, it's thick. Um, I got this off Amazon and it was actually really cheap. Like, cause it came out quite a while ago now. Um, the price has gone down quite a lot. So this one actually comes you know with a record and this actually comes with the CD as well um, but the actual packaging of this is stunning and I think so many other people should do this it's literally like a hardback book like really it's really really sturdy and I love it inside it's just stunning so on this side obviously you get the CD here and then on this side you get the record and you also get some pictures which is super nice so let me get these out for you the record itself um, 180 gram black vinyl the label is really pretty so you get this little print which is really nice and then you get this booklet so in this booklet just pictures and stuff and information and uh, a few words by other people another queen greatest hits to show you um so let me tell you the story i found out that hmv were doing their own like little kind of record store day but it was their vinyl week and basically what they do is like they just put like all of the records on sale and they also bring out some exclusive records too um, and I didn't know about it and I found out about it just in time like a few days before and I was like okay let me just I'm probably not gonna be interested but let me just go through like their exclusive list see what they're releasing and have a look see if there's anything that I want to get and there were two Queen releases and of course I was like okay I'm sold I need to go I need to get um take my money now <laughs> So, and I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know if it was like just the one day or was it all the whole week. And this list kind of like gave you the date when things were getting released. And luckily the two Queen releases were being released on the same day. 
But like I said, like I didn't know whether it was kind of like a record store day feel where people were like queuing up outside the shop and going in and like grabbing it as soon as they can. So I was like, I don't know how this works. So I went to HMV on the day that it was being released, which was luckily a Saturday. And um, I went to the Meadow Hall one, because that's the closest HMV to me. And um, I got there for when it opened, which was like 10 a.m. And I got there and it was like super dead, like nobody was there. So I was like, oh, okay, so maybe this is just a normal day and people were just like coming in as they went. Like it was really dead. And I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna get these things. Like, I was adamant that I wasn't gonna get these records. But then I walked in, the shop almost empty, and they were all there on the shelves. I was like, what is going on? I wish actual record store day was that easy. So I did manage to get the two Queen releases from the HMV exclusives. This was one of them. Again, I've kept them sealed. So this is the Queen Grace Hits, um, but it's actually pressed on red vinyl. And I'm super happy because I was so close to spending a ton of money on the FYE America Only release of this where they also uh, released the Greatest Hits album on red vinyl um, like last year I think and I was so close to like spending a ton on that because it's gotten rare and the shipping would have been disgusting too to get that record where I could have just weird and got this which I did and I'm so happy and this was 30 pounds which pretty expensive but I'm so happy that like by getting this and not splurging on the FYE one I've probably saved a lot so I'm really not mad also only um, limited to a number of 2,000 so there are only 2,000 of these so the other um, HMV release which I've also kept sealed which I thought was even more interesting than the greatest hits on red vinyl was the fact that they released a version of the works on clear vinyl I nearly went and I've never seen like the works has never been on clear vinyl and as far as I know anyway um, so yeah I was like more excited for this one than I was the red one I'm not gonna lie um, but this one was £22 um, again, I've kept it sealed like I do like record store day stuff. But yeah, but I'm so happy I managed to get both of them. This one, by the way, is limited to 1,500 copies. Last one! Oh my god, finally, I feel like I've been sat here for a millennium. Um, the last one I have to show you is one I saw a while back that was being released and I was kind of interested in it, but I, then I was kind of like, I, don't know if I want it that bad but then I found it on Amazon and it was like 15 pounds and I was like it's pretty cheap you know I'm just gonna get it so I got it and I'm very happy I did so this is another French release but it's not by um, the same people who did the Jackson 5 stuff but this is for Motown the Motown anniversary um, and this is Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5 Motown anniversary like they have been releasing like some others for like the temptations and stuff like that I think um, but of course I'm only interested in the Jackson 5 one so it is on green vinyl and it goes really nicely with the record but holy crap look at that so it is slightly transparent you can see like my hand through this probably um, but it's super like a forest green and honestly I love green anyway <laughs> Um, this is probably like one of my favourite shades of green, which is really nice and it does go really nicely with the sleeve here. So that was a long haul, a long video, my back is killing me. But that was the last record I have to show you, so this is the moment we are finishing, my vinyl finds number 19. These are all the records that I've gotten since March, since last time I showed you a vinyl finds video. I'm so happy with everything I've got. Like, there has been some stellar releases since last time I showed you some records. So, there's been some amazing stuff being released. Like, and I'm so excited for like the Jackson 5 stuff to come out as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me down below if you've got any of them too. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.